What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Crew First Culture Podcast. My name is Jeremy. And as always, thank you very, very much for spending some time with me today. I am excited to be back on. You know, these episodes have gotten to be a little, a little few and far between, but that's okay. And and I hope that you uh, I hope that you're okay with it as well. You know, like I've stated many, many times, the past couple of years have been quite the quite the journey in so many ways and really just a journey through life you know there's there's always things going on for everybody obviously and so me not being any different for sure with that and just seems like here past couple months life has definitely seemed to throw some challenges at me and then seemed to to put some things on me that I really had to kind of reevaluate some things and and refocus some things and just look at how I'm doing things and and just down the line just re reevaluating who I am and what I'm doing and so anyway really excited about kind of what we're going to talk about today but before that I want to share something else that I'm really excited about you know some of you know that last weekend I spoke at a conference for the first time ever and this was something that I never never ever ever would have saw coming you know I have been somebody that has been deathly afraid of public speaking all my life just it's just not me I (laughs) I don't I don't even know how to properly express how far away from my personality that would have been you know especially more than a year and a half two years ago and so you know it was something that I just didn't see coming but once that ball started rolling once that thought kind of entered my mind it was something that I really kind of started looking forward to and really started to get excited about and so you know put together my presentation a while back and just kind of slowly worked through tuning it up and and kind of getting it where it needed to be and trying to get my mind wrapped around how the whole process worked and that's that's difficult when you've never done it so you know I, I thought I was ready I thought I had it all prepared and then kind of when I got to the venue I realized that the venue was set up completely different than I had ever expected and so it was going to uh, completely change how my presentation went and so it was very stressful luckily I was the last speaker of the day and so I actually just stayed at the auditorium during lunch and kind of revamped some of my my powerpoint a little bit just to to kind of correct and and kind of help me through that a little bit but and honestly I I I couldn't imagine my first time ever going better than it did you know do I have room to grow absolutely I mean I I for sure need to be you know way more polished and and better at presenting and you know lots of little things here and there but being the first time being in a a gigantic auditorium I think they said there were, you know, around 85 people there. That's, that's a big deal for your first time, you know, and, and there were people there that, you know, I really respected and, and, you know, felt, felt some pressure to do a good job because I wanted to do a good job, especially for those people that were there. And so anyway, you know, I, I made it a point to say that, you know, I, I, I not only want people to hear my words and, and listen to what I'm saying, but I, I'm passionate about what I'm there to talk about. And that being the case, I want them to feel that passion. I want them to feel how important it is to me and how important I think it is to every leader, you know, the, the things I talked about. And so, you know, that's, that's real. I, that was my goal to, to, to truly 
convey that passion and to truly help them to feel that coming out of me. You know, I, was it the case? I, I don't know. You know, that's a pretty lofty goal for somebody that is, is presenting a, a PowerPoint and, and speaking for the very first time, but I, I felt good. I felt like, you know, I, I did a pretty good job of you know, doing my best at that. You know, I, it's funny how many things I left out and how many things I was planning on saying and didn't say it, but you know, the timing worked out pretty good. I, I, I ended right about where I needed to be and had quite a few people come up and, and say they enjoyed it. And, and so it, I, I'm very, very blessed to have that opportunity. Very, very blessed to have been able to do it in a way that, you know, was pretty good for my first time. So it, it was a, it was a great time. And you know, like I talked about, as as far as that is outside of my comfort zone, as soon as it was over, I was just like, ah, I'm ready to do it again. I want to do more of it. I just enjoyed it that much. I I wanted to be able to connect with the people there, and and I enjoyed that connection. So anyway, you know that that aside, it was it was a great weekend. I had the opportunity to sit through you know, seven other really, really great speakers, you know, Mark Davidson, Rob Ramirez, Jacob Johnson, Scott Thompson, Howard Reinwald, Kyle Romagus, and Dennis Riley. Great, great people, great, great people of the fire service and some, some really good learning points. You know, I took a lot of notes and feel like I learned a lot from it. And so I just enjoyed being there and, and enjoyed learning and really probably the most enjoyable part is just those connections that I was able to make. I was able to meet people that I've been, you know, uh, I'll put air quotes around, you know, Facebook friends or Instagram friends or, or whatever podcast friends for over a year, but to finally meet these people in person and shake their hand and, and actually have a face-to-face -face conversation with these people, it felt amazing. I loved it. You know, people that, that I've been following and, and kind of chatting with oh, here and there through the, the past couple of years, you know, people like Shane Bentley and, and Blake Stinnett, Jacob Johnson, Mark Davidson. I, I was so so happy to be able to finally have a face-to-face -face conversation with them and, and connect with them in person. So that was awesome. And, you know, probably, probably the, the best part of that first day was the, I guess you'd call it an after party, you know, the, the get together after the presentations were over. To, to sit there and to have conversations with people that are like-minded to have conversations with people that, that are dealing with the same frustrations that you are, that are fighting the same battles that you are, you know, all of that, but they're all willing to not focus on that, you know, not focus on the bad things, but focus on how we're going to make things better, how we're going to make it to the other side, how we're going to make the fire service better. That that was amazing. And, and that, I can't tell you how important it was because, you know, being somebody that if, if you, if you've went a while without going outside of your department, if, if you've kind of confined yourself to your little, you know, your little department walls, not reached out to others, not or read books or listen to podcasts or, you know, anything. If, if you're confining yourself to your own department, you just don't see what is out there. You don't see all the good that you can be getting from reaching out. And so, you know, that's been something that I've been so blessed to be a part of is, is reaching out, you know, meeting these people and, and having these connections with people that kind of pull me through the downtimes, pull me through the negativity, pull me through the frustration. And, and hopefully I can be that person for them too. 
having these people that I have learned so many things from, that I've been inspired so much from. It's it's been amazing. And I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I didn't have that opportunity to to reach outside of my organization and find all these things from the the great great people that I've been lucky enough to meet and so you know at that party you know I've already mentioned some of these names and I'm not trying to name drop I'm just trying to give credit honor and respect to these people because it, they they truly deserve it but got to have a good conversation with Rob Ramirez a great one was with Shane Bentley got to meet a couple of great people that I've not yet to meet yet and talk with a little bit with and those are Ryan Allen Chief Ryan Allen and Samuel Adams <laughs> yes Samuel Adams that's his name some other conversations and and with people that you know I'd known for a while but it was the first time I got to actually sit with them or you know Blake Stinnett Jacob Johnson and Mark Davidson those people are amazing people. If you don't know who they are, you need to start searching them out on podcasts, start searching them out you know, on social media. It's, it's amazing how much you can learn from somebody that you never meet. It's amazing. And how much you can be inspired by somebody that you have never met. But that's exactly what happened. You know, that, that is exactly the story of where I've been the past year and a half. You know, these are people that have gotten me to this point. These are people that have raised me to the level that I'm at. And I never had the chance to meet them until just last weekend. And so I just, I say that to, to really challenge you all to just keep spreading out your wings, keep stretching your, your networking, your your availability to go outside of your organization because there's so much to learn out there so many great great resources so many great great people and if you're not doing it you're missing out and you're losing opportunities to become better better at every aspect of life and so anyway you know i left out one name during that after party that I had a, a conversation with that I will get back into in a little bit because it, it, it goes into my main topic. So I know I left out a lot of names, you know, I know I had a lot of great conversations with other people and I'm, I apologize for that. You know, I'm trying to kind of keep this not so long. So if I left your name out, I apologize. I, I, I really had a great time, got to meet so many great people and so please don't take offense to that if I did. Another, you know, another great thing that happened this weekend was you know, I, I had two kids that were baptized on Sunday. You know, I, I enjoyed Sunday. It was a great day of family. I, I had, a, you know, two days of, of kind of fire service love with my brothers and sisters there. And then I got to come home. Saturday night and then spend, you know, that and Sunday with my family doing some great things, had a birthday party and it was just a great weekend, just a, a great time. And it was very needed because the week before that was probably the hardest week I've had in a long, long time. And you know, we had some, some family things happen that were very difficult. And to be honest, it was a situation that I would have never thought would have been as difficult for me as it was and so you know, there will probably come a time where we get into that it's it's not now <laughs> so I'm not going to do that but just saying it was it was a a well-needed weekend a very good weekend and so just wanted to kind of touch on that to get into where we're going I want to kind of lead into it with this, you know, I've, I've noticed a, a declining interest speaking for myself in you know, the, some podcasts and, and, and some books and different things that I've really 
I've enjoyed listening to over the past couple of years. But here lately, I've just noticed that it doesn't do anything for me. You know, is it, it, it's great content, but it just isn't, it isn't getting me where I, it used to get me. And so I just happened to stumble up upon one of Craig Rochelle's leadership podcast that is, you know, he, he plays a speech that he gave at a conference last year. And it really hit me. And it was, it was great, great timing because he basically kind of talks about presenting and, and things like that, that I needed to hear last week, kind of getting ready for myself. But what I realized is, of course, he is a, a pastor and, you know, he, he gets up and he preaches probably every week. And so that's kind of how his his uh, rhythm and all that just sounds that's that's who he is and so even though it wasn't a church environment that this presentation was at that's just kind of his style but I realized that that's what I needed to hear I needed to be preached to I needed to feel that passion that he gave and so I started kind of thinking back to the previous couple weeks and and realize that that's exactly kind of what I've been focusing on the past couple of weeks, even before that, are the episodes with those people that really display that passion, that really make you feel that passion. Kind of like I talked about earlier about, you know, how I wanted to give my presentation. And it, it was just interesting to me that I kind of started realizing that's that's what I'm needing right now. I need somebody to feed me with that passion, to, to really give me that bump in, you know, what they have to give as far as just, just straight out, just making you feel how much they love what they're talking about. And so that being the case, you know, I, I started to, to kind of focus on those names that, that really make me feel that way. And, you know, a lot of those names are people that I've already went over and, and, and discussed with you. People that just do what they're doing because they love to do it. They train and make people better and teach and mentor others because they love to do it, because they love the job. And they want to honor it by making everybody that does it better. And so, you know, it's, it's just been kind of a, an eye-opening experience. And then kind of bringing that into the weekend and, you know, listening to those great speakers and, and meeting these, these great people of the fire service and, and talking with them about the job about leadership and about how we can make it better and then going to the you know the after party and, and having those conversations that I just discussed but it was one particular conversation that really hit me and you know it hit me while I was sitting there having it but the next day it continued to hit me even more so and it made me realize that I cannot control the amount of time I have with somebody. But what I can control is the amount of impact I have on them while they're here, while they're with me. I can control that. And so to, to get into that conversation, and, and I'm not going to give details of the conversation, but it was with Corey Thompson. So Corey Thompson runs with the Bears of the Oath Boys, you know, Lee Humphreys and, and Shane Bentley and, and all the, the great people that they have to do all the things that they do. You know, that they, they are some solid, solid guys. Justin Fray is another one. Some solid, solid individuals that are just truly doing it because they love the job 
and they love the people that do the job. But sitting there talking with Corey, I just, I, I was just struck by his humility. I was just struck by, he, he was just a, a really quiet kind of, you know, very laid back, very soft spoken guy, but you can tell how much he loved what he did. You can tell how much he loved training people and making people better. You can tell how much he wanted to make the fire service better. And yeah, we talked about some frustrations, but most of the time we spent there talking, it was about how we're making things better. You know, different programs that he's done that has made him so much better. And it, it was just amazing that, you know, I probably sat with him maybe 45 minutes. I'm just guessing roughly 45 minutes, never met him before before that particular night talk with him for 45 minutes and really didn't talk with him much after that you know i i shook his hand and said hi on saturday but they were kind of busy doing some other things so they weren't around a lot and i was busy listening to other presenters so so really 45 minutes i've spent with this person that i've never met before and it truly made an impact on my life because of who he is, because of his message and because of where I am in life and where I, what I needed to hear. And so that showed me that it doesn't matter how much time you have with somebody, you can impact their life. You can make a difference. It doesn't matter if it's 45 minutes, if it's 15 minutes, if it's, a day or five, 10 years, you have the ability to impact their lives. We all have that ability. Something that, you know, over the past couple of days, I've, I've really started to think about in this area are the days that I get travelers to my station. You know, the days that I have a couple, you know, one or two of my crew members gone. And so I've got somebody filling in. And I've, I've fallen in the rut of using those days as just kind of like, you know, whatever, you know, I, you know, we don't, we don't have our, our crew members here. So you don't really seem to do much on those days. And I started thinking, you know, that is completely wrong. You know, that's wrong of me. I should be taking advantage of that one day with that individual. That might be the only day that I ever get to you know, spend time with that person. So why would I not want to take every advantage of that situation and try to make a difference in their lives, try to impact them in a good way? You know, maybe they are on a crew that doesn't ever train. Maybe they are under an officer that doesn't give a crap about them. Maybe they're, you know, really weak in a particular skill that they need help in and don't have the opportunity to get that help. I need to be that help. I need to take advantage of that situation, take advantage of that time and put the most into that person that I can for that amount of time. Try to make an impact in their lives and in their career as best I can. And so, like I said, that, that really kind of made me think about that, made me think about how I approach those days because I need to be better. And it goes back home too. You know, again, I, I love bringing things back home because my journey is not only to be better at, at in the fire service or in my career, my journey is to be better everywhere. The one thing I want to be good at is to be good at home, be a good dad, be a good husband. I want that more than anything. And so growing at work, hopefully translate to growing at home. But, you know, your kids bring a friend home for a day or a couple of days. 
that's a time to impact them. There's no telling what those kids are dealing with at home. There's no telling what those kids need. Be an impact on their lives. And, and you know, there, there are so many situations. I'm not going to try to, to name out different situations that this, this can come and play. When we're around others, we need to find ways to impact them. It doesn't matter how long we've got with them. And so that was kind of my main thought. And again, it was it was spurred through just the past couple of weeks of, of some different situations that I've been through. Like I say, you know, I don't want to speak badly on you know some of these things that I used to enjoy more. You know, there's there's so many great messages and so many great lessons, you know, out there on podcasts and books. But right now I just needed more. I needed to feel the words of people that are truly passionate. I needed to feel their messages. I need to be around people that truly just have that passion pouring out of them. And maybe that's just a stage I'm in. I don't know, but that's also who I want to be. That is who I want to be at home. That is who I want to be at work. I want somebody that just looks at me, just hears me talk and knows that person truly cares about what he's doing. That person truly cares about those around him. That's who I want to be. And that's who I want to show others that they can be as well. So really, that's all I have today. You know, I, I don't want to, to run crazy overboard with it. I, I, I appreciate you kind of sitting through a little bit of an intro here before I got started. I, I had a great, great weekend. So blessed to have that opportunity to meet others and to be inspired by others and, and really want to challenge everybody to reach out and find those people too, because you have to have it. It doesn't matter how inspired, how motivated, how driven you are. You can't do it alone. You've got to have support because sooner or later, that drive, that motivation, all of that is going to start to fail. It's going to start to, to dwindle away. And it takes those individuals, those friends, those you know, inspiring voices to fire you back up to get you back out there and to to keep you going on the right path so thank you for joining me i i hope you have a, a great week ahead of you looking forward to next month i'll be presenting at the revolutionary fire tactics on the lake with my good friend and and crew member Justin Mann. So if you're going to be there for that, look forward to meeting you. Come find me and say hi. Before that, I'm just going to try to keep getting better and keep focusing on these areas that I really need to become more of what I'm here to be. And so thank you for coming on that journey with me. As always, look forward to next time. And until then, Stay humble and do work.